Hey everyone, and welcome to our video today. I'm here with an awesome athlete, Alex Ost. She's a professional women's lacrosse player, and she's also a field athlete with me at Pure Raw Juice, one of the local juice bars in Baltimore, Maryland. Today we're gonna to be working through a low back and shoulder release of her body for athletes, so you guys can kind of see how I move her body through releasing her upper back and her lower back, trying to get into all those awesome muscles that we overuse, um, and so that we can make sure that we feel good to play again soon. Ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> She's excited about this. <laughs> We're going to start in child's pose. So Alex is going to come down to her hands and knees and just kind of nuzzle her butt back to her heels. And then while she comes into this pose, She's gonna start to kind of work into the triceps a little bit by taking her palms and placing them at her upper back. And then while you do that, you're gonna notice this kind of pull through the lats, through the lower side body, and it's gonna just allow her to see if she can deepen anymore. From here, she's gonna notice if her stomach can drop even lower to the ground, or if like there's a stopping point. So you're gonna, when you do this pose, either keep your hands like Alex's, or feel free to work them further down the tailbone. I'm gonna apply a little pressure to our low back and then a little pressure to our mid to upper back and just kind of press here so that we can lengthen out the spine. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and then exhale the breath out. Good. From this place, Alex is just gonna reach her arms out in front of her, nice long lines, and then bring herself up into tabletop. So that's hands and knees. Good, I want you to turn your hands around, Alex, so they face me, so the eyes of your elbows are forward. And then we're gonna take our shoulders and we're gonna roll shoulder circles around our wrists. So instead of getting into the hips, we're gonna really stay focused in the back and shoulders. And so this is gonna kind of be something where you're aware of the flexibility in your wrist or you become unaware. And then just reverse those circles for me. So go ahead and just start to notice as the head of the shoulder moves around the fingernails and then back forward how that feels on the arms. Good, go ahead and rotate the hands forward for me. And then exhale from there, curl your toes, extend your hips back to your first downward facing dog so your tail is up and your chest is down. Take a big full inhale through your nose and then open mouth, sigh it out. Now this next pose is gonna be different for everyone based on flexibility, but I'm gonna have Alex step her feet apart as wide as the mat. And then if she's really open today, which we're not sure until we kind of move a little bit, then she's gonna take her left hand and grab her outer right leg. Now, if it's hard for her to grab, I'm gonna have her go around the leg the other way just so the shoulder can open. She can always slide this right hand closer to her. Otherwise, we're gonna stay here. And then Alex wants to bend this left elbow just a little bit and pull. And right there, you're gonna notice the long line of her back that starts to twist. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. And then on her next exhale, replace the hand back down and just switch sides. So widening of the feet makes this pose more accessible. And then from here, you'll notice as she peeks under her armpit or relaxes her head, again, you'll feel this really nice twist and I can even assist if I want by training her ribs to rotate even more without her hips moving. Exhale, both hands down flat. Good, take a big full breath in, and then exhale, just tiptoe up to your hands, so you're in a forward fold. And then we're gonna slowly just take the hands of the low back, so at the sacrum, interlock the fingers, inhale, bring them up and over your head, and then exhale, fold forward. So if it's hard for you to grab hands, you can always use a strap. I'm gonna take the inside of Alex's wrist and push them closer together, and I'm gonna help her kind of in that assist, see what's available. And I'm gonna notice she doesn't really want to go there, so it's like reading the body what feels good and what doesn't feel good. Exhale, release the hands all the way back down. And then inhale, slowly roll up all the way to stand. And then we're gonna inhale, bring our arms up and over our head, interlock the fingers, take our chest and really push it forward so we're almost hyperextending, but then engage the stomach, pull it back in. Good, so keep feeling that action of like drawing the ribs in, pushing the heart forward. And then go ahead and inhale, look up at the sky, take a big, big breath in. Exhale, eagle arms. So you're gonna take your arms out wide and you're gonna take your right arm underneath your left. Raise your elbows up, take a big back bend for me. And then without folding forward, just lean forward towards me, push your back backwards and bring your elbows to your chest so that your fingers come forward. So it's almost like a cat back standing. Inhale, back bend, lift your heart. Exhale, curl in slowly. 
One more time, inhale, lift up. Good, now go ahead and take this all the way down to the earth, Alex, into a forward fold and unwind your hands once you get there. Lift your spine up halfway for me. Exhale, step your left foot to the back of the mat, keeping your hands down. Right foot is in between your palms. Walk your right toes forward a little bit, good. Raise your right arm really high into the air. And we're gonna take the back of Alex's palm, place it on the back of her head. From here, she's gonna raise her elbow way up into the sky, lean back almost away from the twist. And then exhale, slowly train her elbow, bring it down towards her left thumb. So it's gonna feel funky in the hips, but it's gonna feel really nice in the back and shoulders. Two more of those. Inhale, bring the elbow up nice and slow. We're keeping the right leg in on purpose versus letting it open. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, elbow up, lean back and open. And then exhale, bring it back down. Good. This next time, Alex is gonna bring her elbow all the way up into the sky. And then from here, her hand's gonna stay behind her head, but I want her to take her elbow and try to move it forward. And when we do this, it's really gonna get into the back body. It's really gonna get in the shoulders and maybe even down her lats for three. Again, I'm gonna try to help her push and pull two. We're gonna inhale, raise our arm back to the sky, reach it all the way up. Exhale, frame our front foot. And then take a big step forward, top of the mat. Halfway lift the spine, lengthen. And then back to our forward fold. Go ahead and interlock the fingers again at the low back. So we're gonna work into those shoulders one more time. Maybe the opposite thumb is on top if possible. Good, and then I'm gonna stand here because I'm just gonna give her a little push from her upper back. And then as I do that, without pushing, I'm just gonna assist her hands towards me. This is where I wanna be careful in my face because if she lets her hands loose, I'll get a little bit, I'll get knocked out a little bit, but hopefully we'll, we'll be okay today. And then exhale, release your hands down and then rise all the way to stand. Inhale, reach up high as we work into Garudasana Eagle on the left. So we're gonna take the left arm under. Inhale, back bend, lift the thighs. Exhale, scoop the belly in and then curl the upper back as the elbows come in. Good, two more rounds. Inhale, lengthen, lift up. Exhale, scoop forward. Inhale, big back bend, hold our eagle here. And if you're getting really tired of this, you can always hold shoulders. Let's go ahead and come all the way forward. And then we can release our hands together to the earth. Lift and lengthen the spine. And then go ahead and step your right foot all the way back so you're in a lunge this time. Good, inhale, peel your left arm up into the air. All the way up, lift your chest. Good, now since we're not really thinking about the hips, that's why we're staying close. If we were working more into the hips, I would ask Alex to move her foot away, but instead I wanted to hold her lunge to kind of force the work in the chest and shoulders. Hand behind the head, elbow up, take a full breath in. Good, exhale, we're gonna curl all the way down, reach for this bottom thumb if possible. And then inhale, elbow up, lean back, let your elbow be the trigger of your back bend. Good, exhale, come back down, lower, maybe bend your right elbow some to help you. Last one, inhale, lean back. And then again, exhale, back down. And as Alex comes down, I'm just gonna kinda grab her back leg to make sure she keeps it nice and firm. Elbow comes back up. So guys, hold your twist here, elbow to the sky. And you should be building a lot of heat right now in your upper body. And Alex should feel like her upper body specifically is very warm as the elbow tracks forward. Now, if you have a little bit of nerve impingement here, you might feel some tingling through this part of your body as well. So kind of noticing that sensation. And again, I'm gonna push Alex's face towards you and pull her elbow forward. Three, two, and then we're gonna inhale, bring the arm back up to the sky, big breath in. Good, exhale, bring the hand back down, and then take a big step forward. Or again, our feet are gonna come together. Go ahead and face forward, Alex. So we're gonna be facing the same way, good. And I want you to very slowly open your feet a little bit wider than your hips. We're still working into the back and shoulders. So what we're both gonna do is take our hands, feed them through our legs, hold our heels, and then just kind of squat and then extend the hips a few times. So we're gonna squat and then extend. Good, squat and then extend. And then one more time, squat for me. Good, and then I want Alex to open her knees. So she's gonna force her knees a little bit wider. And then from there, we're gonna start to straighten our legs, tailbone up, and then hug the knees back in. 
So you should feel this big expansion in the traps, but also this pressure on the arms, and it should be almost something you can only hold for a few breaths before you feel the need to release. One more inhale. Good, and then to release, we're just gonna remove our arms out of this pose. Good, open the legs a little bit wider so then we can come in a deep yogi squat together. Hands at your heart. Good, take the right hand, reach it out towards me. Raise your left arm way up into the sky. And then exhale, take your left hand behind your low back. Peel your left chest open. Go ahead and close your eyes, Alex. Lower your right ear to your right shoulder and let your neck release here. So this is option one, or you can always keep that left arm up. Option two, if Alex wants to, she'll go for the bind around the right shin where the hands will clasp at her lower back. And then as this happens, we wanna just kinda train the body again to lean back. And then she's gonna work on adducting her hips, so pulling them apart. Good. And then inhale, come back to center, triceps press your inner thighs open, deep yogi squat, look forward. Good, exhale, we're gonna take our hands around our ankles and then again, straighten the legs, hug the knees in, and then feel that push on the shoulders, which gets right into the back. And then you should feel it all the way into maybe even the neck if you can tuck your chin a little bit more. Good, exhale, release, deep yogi squat. Inhale, left arm out to the left, right arm to the sky, big breath in. Stay here or half bind. Stay here or full bind. And again, we're just gonna train this right knee to open on its own because the right knee and the foot does wanna collapse. And then we're gonna close our eyes, let our left ear fall to our left shoulder and just work into the neck here. So noticing the cervical spine, are we allowing it to release as well? And then as this happens again, as we roll and as we breathe, we feel more of a release. Go ahead and inhale, come back to deep yogi squat one more time. Good, exhale, standing forward, fold, toes forward, head to the earth. You can go ahead and pivot towards me if you want your forward fold and then have a seat on your mat slowly. Good, and then inhale, slowly roll down onto your back for me. Good. We're gonna work into the interlaced fingers, so what we call yoga mudra, from our variation of uh, bridge pose. So we're gonna ground our feet, raise our pelvis into the sky, and then interlace our fingers under our butt, and then Alex is gonna work her shoulders underneath her back, so you're gonna notice that they kinda disappear. Now at first, what we're gonna do is reach our hands as far as we can towards our heels, and then we're gonna drive our hips up, but then I want Alex's knees, the energy to move forward. Good, so you should feel like you just got a little bit longer and taller. From there, the back of her head presses down and our chin lifts up a little bit, Kind of thinking about that idea of keeping the throat open. Now we're gonna take one more breath here, but we're gonna keep this motion of our upper body because it's gonna assist us in opening our chest, shoulders, and back. As we slowly lower the upper back down onto the triceps, go just keep your arms there. Then we lower the butt. And then if you feel comfortable, we can extend the legs even all the way out, letting the butt lay all the way down onto the hands. And you should feel like you have fully opened your chest in a very kind of kind way to the body without it being too much. Now from here, Alex is just gonna slide her feet back in. So it's almost like you're gonna go to fish pose if you know yoga, but we're not actually going there. Bring the hips back up. Good, release the hands. And then as the hips come down, I want you to bring your arms all the way up and over your head. Big breath in, hips down, arms overhead. Exhale, bring the arms back down, bring the hips back up, bridge pose. Good, one more round of that. Inhale, arms overhead. Keep them overhead as you lower the hips. Good, go ahead and take opposite elbows over your head and extend one leg out and then extend the other. Good, so if Alex can work on engaging her core muscles to pull down in the lumbar spine, which is really hard to do to keep that press the whole time, then she's gonna feel even more release through her back. Ribs are expanding as well, which is starting to release the pressure in her upper to mid back. Take another full breath in and then just switch the opposite elbow grip for me, Alex. Good. And if you have a friend at home you're practicing with, you can always ask them to kind of put some pressure on this pose. And if I press onto Alex's bicep, she should kind of feel this really long line. And notice I didn't jam down, I just gently pushed. And then that's gonna really separate and find more space in the back of the scapula. 
Good. Inhale, reach long overhead, Alex. Arms long, legs long. Exhale, knees to chest. Give them a big squeeze. And then we're going to finish with a spinal twist. We're going to drop our knees over to one side. Doesn't matter which side you prefer. And then arms out nice and wide, palms up like you're going to receive something in your hands. And you want to notice belly button, hip, kneecap alignment is really important versus letting the knees be closer down towards the front of the mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, bring your knees towards me. And then bring your hips towards the camera. Good. And you can keep the back of your head down or you can allow the head to rotate side to side. It does not matter. And again, breathing in, just kind of feeling the release in the ribs. The chest should be open. The shoulders are softer than when we started. Come back to center. Give your knees a big squeeze for me. And then go ahead and pick up your head and round your back. Good. Now rock up and down on your back a couple times for me, Alex. Coming all the way up and all the way back, but not rocking onto your neck. Good. Rock yourself all the way up to seated for me. Turn and face the camera. And then as we sit together, we're just going to finish with a simple seated twist. So both of us are going to inhale, raise our arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand grabs the right knee. Right hand behind us, rotate and twist. And then inhale, come back through center, reach straight up, biceps by your ears. Exhale, rotate and twist. Good. Inhale, come back to center, reach up really, really high. And then exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Thank you guys so much for practicing with Alex and I today. I hope you feel good and released in your back and shoulders. And combining these kind of movements with other classes that are hosted on this channel, that can really assist you in allowing your bodies to release so you feel strong for your next activity. Thanks, guys. Thanks.